Yes, it is possible to monitor a VPS and not a particular website. This way, we're able to monitor the back end of the websites by monitoring our VPS server, All right? For this, I'm going to show you Month Spark that's on a lifetime deal right now. So let's go check it out. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Month Spark, and right now it's on a lifetime deal. Now, don't mistake this with Month Spark website monitor. This one is specific to monitoring your servers. That means that if you have a VPS on Hostinger per se, you can actually monitor the back end, everything that's going on. If you are having server loads, if you are having more usage resources, by Redis, by MySQL, et cetera. You're able to monitor those things with Monspark server monitoring, all right? Now, this is Monspark, and I've already installed it on my server, but before I show you how to use it, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is actually Hostinger. So if you have a VPS on Hostinger or you plan to grab one, you can actually monitor their server using Monspark, right? Now, jump over to the link in the description, go to hosting, go to VPS hosting, and currently there's a huge sale going on right now. So you're able to grab this at a lower price than you would normally, all right? So right now, let me show you the most popular plan, which is $599 a month. And that will give you two CPU cores, eight gigabytes, eight gigabytes of RAM and 100 gigabytes of NVMe disk storage, which is pretty good for that price, right? So let's go ahead and choose this plan. And I'm going to show you how to save even more with my coupon code. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for two years. All right. Now let's add my coupon code. This is the current price. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS master and apply it, the price is going to drop even lower to $129 with 38 cents. That's for two years already paid off with a great plan of a VPS. All right. So do consider my coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan. All right. OK, so back to Monspark. As I mentioned, I've already installed this on my server and it's done through terminal, which is super easy. It's not complicated at all. I'll make a separate video for that. All right. Now, once you install it, you'll get an icon here that says it's up. All right. So that means that this server is correctly connected and I'm able to monitor CPU, memory, disk, network service, and processes. Now, depending on your use case and what you would specifically like to monitor in case you are having issues, well, it depends what you're going to look at. In this case, for example, this is the CPU usage, and it helps me understand that I'm in the level that I would say it's a safe zone for my website. Now, what I mean by that, let's just say taking into consideration the plans from Hostinger, okay? So this is what I'm using right now. And if my site is good to go, I don't have to jump into a bigger plan. So I don't know, I don't need more resources, nor no more gigabytes, no more CPUs, because this is cutting it for me as of now. Once I get more popular, more views, then I might make that jump to the next level, right? So this will help me monitor that. Or in case I'm having issues with the backend of the website, let's just say that I have a WordPress site and it got hacked, but I don't know. But then I'm having these certain CPU spikes. Well, that means that something is wrong and I should take care of it. Either the code is wrong, maybe I got hacked, or maybe I'm having loads of traffic, bot traffic, etc., and I'm able to view that with this information. I'm also able to monitor the memory. So you got memory usage, swap memory usage, and then we have the disk information. So IO operations in the last month. So these are the operations. You got your IO operations in the last five minutes, last 15 minutes. And again, this will help you. It's data to help you monitor your server. Remember, server, not website. And that means that if you have 10, 20, 30, or how many ever sites you want on your server, this is the general uses, all right? So that means that if you're having an issue and you have five websites, that means that you'll detect by the server and not by independent websites, right? They do have website monitor, but it's not on this deal that I'm showing you, okay? Then you have your network that you can monitor. Here we go. Nothing going on there. Services. So in this case, the Monspark agent is taking up some CPU resources right now because I'm actually using it. You got your Redis servers, the app more, and more information here for what is being used and what is being run and what is not being run, okay? Again, you got also the top services by memory usage. You got MySQL, Monspark, etc. That's what I'm using. And then we have the processes that I can monitor. Now, that's for the general monitoring here of the server. I think where this really shines is in the alarms and the rules. In this case, I don't have any alarms because you need to set the rules, all right? So there's several rules already created that are super easy to use. Now, you got critical rules, high, medium, and low. 
Now let's see the critical ones, all right? So we want to get an idea to get notified if there's a CPU load. Now by default, this is practically set up. You could be set to go or you could be more conservative, conservative if you want to modify these, all right? For example, the rule structure. In this case, if saying if the CPU load values over 90 CPU usage, then I will get an alert, all right? For at least one minute. I'll get the alert. Let's just say that I want to be more conservative. I want to be notified before this actually happens. I'll say 70, all right? So if this hits 70% on my CPU usage, then let me know. I want to know each time that this lasts for one minute, then notify me, all right? So this is the rule, the alert message. If it's going to be security level, it's set to critical, chart group, the CPU load, mark monitor status as abnormally down, notify on every change yes or no so if you want to get notified every single time hit yes all right enable the rule yes set rule as default yes right if we're good to go we go ahead and update it and now it's going to notify me when it hits 70 all right that means 70 percent of the cpu load it's going to notify me and just like that you'll have a lot of rules for all of these that will notify you when they hit for example for disk usage you got these rules you got for memory and then there's also for high for example there's other ones for the medium and these are already set up they're easy to use they are good to go so it's up to you if you want to keep these or remove them in case you don't want to use them and not get alerted for specific things i mean but i would think that the ones that they've created already for the default ones are good to go you can create more rules if you want and you'll have all these available options to accept the upgraded ones to get notified with the rules right then you have your values and how you want to set it up if it's going to be equal to or more or greater or less etc you have all those options available here and to set up your own rule once those are, those are set up you get the alerts and you also have the alerts notifications here are already set up and you got your filters to view every single aspect of this now for setting up this on your server you will have to have a linux server that means that ubuntu which is one of the most popular ones on bps then it's good to go with linux and you also have windows option and mac os is coming later i don't know what that is going to include but right now it's linux and windows which linux is probably 90 percent of us is what we're using on our bps so you're good to go all you have to do is run this url well this code on a terminal and it'll install it for you I and mean, it's just super easy to use and you'll be good to go to start monitoring your servers so don't forget right now there's a lifetime deal that you can grab this and this is what it's going to include for the 49 dollars you get access to one server 30 server rule templates and three months block retention right now if you need better limits if you need more servers then jump into tier two three and with tier three you get also network monitoring and process monitoring so remember with the rules some of them said upgrade with this you would get it unlocked and there's all the way up to tier six for 200 servers that means that you probably um, manage servers for clients and that would be a good option for you but if not tier two three four would be more than enough for most of us now for me i'm around six seven servers so practically tier three would be the sweet spot for me but it's up to you if you have one you're good to go with 49 dollars, which i think is a great deal for a lifetime payment so definitely check that out right and if you plan to grab your bps plan don't forget to use my coupon code sasmaster and check out hostinger for the bps plans and that's a wrap